This is where it all started. My Viva story began in the second Viva held in Apollo. It was a very uh, wonderful trip for us. It was um, really a good experience for us. It was exciting, you know, we were younger than I was young then. The first time I attended Viva was the second Viva held in Bacolod City. That was in 1992. We were like wide-eyed kids. It was the most influential, but it left the most imprint on me as a person, as an artist. That Viva Expon was held actually in Bacolod City. In Bacolod, um, there was no problem. It was uh, more organized there. It was really very overwhelming experience for me, having met all of these people. Nakabalo ko tungod sa Viva kay kasagaran sa mga mga maestro, connected man sa mga artist sa Bacolod. Daghan dito na ako nakita sa mga artist from all over the Philippines. It was very educational for us because we were able to present our case to describe what was going on here, you know, what we envisioned to be what would happen to art, and that was the first time really that uh, we were able to define what we could possibly do as a member of the community of Visayan artists. As a Cebuano visual artist, Viva made me understand deeper the Visayan culture and the arts. Together, we were challenged to dig deeper and strengthen our local Visayan contemporary art until today. You only have this idea that you know you do art as a person, so it's a very individual thing. Viva sort of changed all of that. It is empowering in the sense to see that you can actually pursue a creative life. The idea of joining Viva was something I looked forward to. And what I always look forward in Viva, aside from meeting artist friends, is how it engages the participants to relevant and current art discourses. Viva is a good conversion. It was able to come I mean, to give us um, a wider horizon and to open a wider horizon for um, artists in the Visayas. We're growing through um, the years uh, with our careers as artists. Eventually, the trip made us much more closer and more adventurous. I uh, had so much respect and so much history for the Viva Expo. You have a good network of artists. It was a big help for us. The experience we learned in Viva Bacolod was lasting. The whole design artist community is really one big family. By this, um, Viva became an example um, to us to strive to um, do better, projecting our own uh, activities or our own art. The Viva was something special. I'm going to talk about the Viva or the Viva that I'm going to mold in my career. I'm going to talk about the Viva that I'm going to do. That was the first time we ever attended really a, a festival, a civic conference of artists. So I hope Viva someday will be an institution for all Visayan artists and will continue to propagate its mission. Viva plays a very crucial role in the art movement of the Visayas. In the whole Philippines, it's really good to have this kind of event. You who are present here today, you are Viva Excon. And in 2020, allow Viva to come full circle in the island of its birth. The 30th year will be a celebration of the past, present, and future. We will solidify 30 years of experience 
we will continue the archiving started in Viva Copies. Let us allow technology to give us a global anchor. We continue with our democratic dynamics and aim for long-term sustainability. Kita magapadayon. Kita mangin madinalagon. Remember, you take care of your art, and your art will take care of you. Let us all come to Bacolod in 2020 for the 16th Viva Excon. The world is watching. <laughs>